day YouTube, this is Texture with a review of Apple's all new iOS 4 software. First off, I'm going to be going into the most common feature everybody's talking about, which is multitasking. Now, multitasking is not the biggest thing to me because I'm not an avid multitasker, but just to show you how it works, you double click the home button, and now you see these three apps that I have opened up, settings, app store, and music, and I'll just open up another one to show you, let's go to ESPN, get out, and now I'll double tap, and I can go into that, everybody pretty much knows how to do this one, I'm going to show you folders, which is another common one that everybody knows how to use, but just a little overview, if I scroll over here, You'll see that I already have some folders made up there, but just to show you how to make one. Say I want to drag the little Virtuoso Piano. You just hold it so it gets dumpy like how you delete them in the other OS's. And then drag it on top of Pandora. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Now, see, when I put it on Pandora, it automatically made the category called music, I don't know if you can see that, but Pandora and Virtuoso Piano are both music apps, so that makes sense. That's just a quick little thing about folders. Now, I'm going to go into how you can add a playlist on your iPod that you haven't been able to do before, so this is where I'm going to use multitasking to get right into it, my music app, and... <coughs> Well, all you have to do for this is go to playlists, and now you see you see it say genius playlist, whatever playlist you had on there that you synced to iTunes. But now you don't have to go to iTunes to add a new one. You can just hit add playlist, title it. I'll just title this one demo, and then it gives you all of your songs, and you just hit one to add it. So I'm just gonna add some random ones. Okay, then you just hit done. As you can see, my background is not the plain black background, and that is because of this. Now you can go into wallpaper on your settings. See how there's two screens that come up, my lock screen and my home screen. I'll go, just click through that, go to my wallpapers. Let's see, what one looks okay. That one looks pretty good. Click on it and set. Now you see it says a new thing comes up which says set as lock screen, set as home screen, or set as both. I'm just going to set them as both just to show you. And you get out of it and look at a nice background wallpaper for my home screen and also it is on the lock screen. So that's pretty much wallpaper. Now in the App Store, there's a new feature as well. Now that I'm in the App Store, I'll show you. I'm on Madden NFL app, and if I scroll down to the bottom of the page, instead of report a problem, now there's gift this app, which you can click, and I guess if you gift it, sign is required, so you have to make an account, but um, if you gift it, it'll show up on your friend's screen. So it's kind of a new, cool new feature there. In the searching on your home screen, if you scroll over, there's a new feature as well. When, let's say, before all you could do was search your apps, now you can search Wikipedia and the web, and I'll show you how. So I want to search for, let's say, apple.com. So I'm going to type in A, P, P, L, and it didn't come up. iBooks, obviously, some my mail, but so it didn't come up, so I'm going to scroll to the bottom and search the web. Now on the web I can easily go to apple.com right there on Safari and voila that's searching in your home screen. It's a little new feature but I like it. So Another new feature is passcode lock in your settings. 
where before all you could do was type a four digit code now you can also make a string you can also make a string of numbers here or letters anything that show up and I'm not gonna do it right now because I like simple passcode but that's that's what it is. You can make a personalized passcode like you could for any other site or anything else. Well, thanks for watching, and hopefully you tune in next time for my next video. Please subscribe. It would really help out. And comment, negative, positive. Just tell me what I could do a little bit better. This is one of my first videos, so I just need a little bit of feedback. Thanks.